Our mission at Musical Theatre Factory is, is pretty utopic. Are you ready for this? <laughs> we are committed to dismantling oppressive ideologies toward collective liberation. And we do so by centering artists of excellence existing in the intersection of underrepresented groups. And with them, we make change-making new musicals in a joyous, collaborative community, free from commercial constraints. Musical Theatre Factory began in the back of a porn studio. <laughs> Shakita Nafact was gifted 18 months um, in this porn studio and she said, let's make musical theatre. And thus MTF was born. Now at the end of that 18 months, MTF found itself without a home. And thanks to Kent Nicholson, um, who knew Shakina and who knew what MTF was doing, um, he basically said, hey, how about you, know, you all come through and become one of the resident companies alongside Space and Club Thumb. And um, Adam was really excited about that. And so we started our residency here at Playwrights. Playwrights also allows us to do is well, of course, I'm going to talk about finance because that's my job. It saves us a, a lot of money because we don't actually have to make those expenses out to pay for the studio space, pay for office space. All of that is given in kind to Musical Theatre Factory, which without that in kind donation, we would not be able to afford physical space. You know, a door down is club thumb, and a, two doors down is space. And then right across from us are like incredible students at Playwrights making brand new work. So it's not just about the space we're able to have for all of the programming that we do, but it's also the communities that we get to be a part of and the ethos of like groundbreaking new work. The power that's behind Playwrights has been very helpful for us getting noticed before all of these funding sources and also helps advocate for the artists in continuing their work beyond the factory. We are not a producing entity, we are strictly development, but that aligns nicely with playwrights who can actually pick up the work that comes out of the factory and take it to the, the commercial levels that we are not focused on. Without MTF, I would have had literally no support to work on the piece in any way. Shakina sort of being like, hey, you need to put this up. Here's, we have the space, you can do it here. Here's the, you know, it was like really crucial because that was the first time Kent Nicholson from Claire's Horizon saw the reading that we did and then sort of started tracking the piece from there. MTF is all about giving musical theater writers the opportunity to work on their pieces away from, without having to think about critical or commercial success. And then at Clarence Horizons, it's, you're given the support to really sort of continue that work, but like on an even bigger scale. I think that both MTF and playwrights are really unique, precious spaces for artists to work in, and I'm really grateful for the opportunity to have passed through both of them. A much larger organization and a much more flexible organization in our core competencies of seeking to change culture can have much more reach and much more support for the artists by collaborating. And ultimately, if that is the goal in order to like make art that changes culture, we're gonna need all of us and we're all gonna need to talk and support each other in doing so. Let's invest in this collaboration. We change the field. <laughs>